What's up everybody? It's your boy Emmanuel with and I and today I'm going to talk to you about five mistakes we make in relationships. What is up everybody? If this is your first time looking at my channel, I appreciate you coming here. My name is Emmanuel with an I. If you are interested in a channel all about relationship advice, motivational speaking, and you want to ask me any question at all, then hit that subscribe button. And plus, if you do want to send me a question, send it to Emmanuel with an I at gmail.com and I will answer it to the soonest possibility and capability that I can. Now, let's get into it. The first mistake that we make in relationships is expecting perfection. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has their flaws. It's impossible to find somebody that is perfect and everything is just right. They're perfectly beautiful. They have the perfect personality with the perfect activities, perfect interest, perfect everything. That does not exist. And if you find someone like that, they are a unicorn. As I saw in the video, capture that person because that is the rarest thing on the earth. So try not to set a perfection expectation for them and understand that you are supposed to work together in your flaws. You're supposed to love them for their flaws. You're supposed to appreciate that they're not perfect because you're not perfect. So that way you both fit and guess what? You're perfect together. The second mistake that we make in relationship is avoiding confrontation. We just have this idea in our minds that if we bring up an issue about problems and issues, then it's going to cause this huge wave that could end in the end of a relationship. But the truth is by holding those issues back and those problems from my partner, that thing is going to end up growing and growing and growing. And when you do end up bringing that problem up with your partner, it's escalated tenfold because you held it inside for so long. So the best thing to do is talk to them about your issues, talk to them about the problems that you have going on because those smaller waves are easier to handle than a huge tidal wave of straight up overly amplified problems and issues that you have bottled up this whole time. So overall, just be open and honest and yes, confront your partner about things going on so that way you better understand your partner and they better understand you and you have a better relationship because of it. I am on fire right now. The third mistake we make in relationships is being too codependent on your partner. Now, yes, being in a relationship can be fun. It can be happy and you enjoy hanging out with this person all the time. And yes, you have friends, but this person is so amazing and you wanna just hang out with them all the time, be with them, hold their hand, kiss them, watch movies. You wanna do everything together. But the problem comes when you start to lose yourself in that relationship. You start to forget who you are and you start to identify yourself solely as your partner. This means that let's say your partner had to go on vacation or your partner left out of your life or whatever reason that they're not there for that moment, you don't know what to do with yourself. You're like, oh my gosh, he or she is not here. So what am I supposed to do in my life? I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, I am lost right now. You still wanna make time during a relationship for me time, for time to do you. You were somebody before you met your partner. So make sure you don't lose who that person was. The fourth mistake that we make in relationships is losing romantic activities. What do I mean by romantic activities? I mean all the things you did before you were official or all the things you did during the beginning of the relationship. Did you used to write her poems? Did you used to tell him how much you appreciated his laugh? Did you compliment each other more? Did you go on walks or go out to eat more often, go dancing, be more romantic in whatever way you did? Did you stop doing those things? Believe it or not, relationships do take work. And the mistake that we make is forgetting all the things that we did in the beginning. Make sure that you still do the things that you did during the beginning of your relationship because those are the most important things that tied you two together. And the last but not least final point that I'm going to make is this. The fifth mistake that we make is forgetting to appreciate your partner. This to me is the most important one because let's say you are having a successful relationship in the sense that you still are taking each other out on dates, writing each other poems, going on walks, and doing the activities that you did during the first stages of your relationship. The problem is when you start to get used to and stop telling the other partner how much you appreciate the action that they're doing for you, how much they are showing you that they care about you and that they love you for who you are. All you really have to do is just say thank you. Let's say a guy keeps on opening the door for his lady every single time in the restaurants, in the car, no matter where they go, he's always, 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 always opening the door for them. But after a while, the lady stops saying thank you. She stops saying, oh my gosh, you're such a gentleman. I appreciate you doing that for me. He's gonna start to feel like 
his actions aren't that important anymore because now you're used to it. So it's important not to make that mistake of not showing your partner how much you appreciate them doing this cute, romantic, kind, giving, very selfless act just for you. If you don't tell your partner how much you appreciate every single thing that they do for you, that partner's gonna leave and somebody else is gonna soup them up. And I'm just saying there's a lot of brooms out there, so make sure you're taking care of your partner. So overall, understand that no relationship is perfect. Nobody is perfect. Continue to appreciate your partner for who they are. Stop trying to change them. Be open and honest about how you feel about your issues and your problems and continue to show appreciation for them and show them that they are still awesome just the way they are. As I said earlier, it's your boy Emmanuel with an I and I hope that you enjoyed this video and my thoughts on the five mistakes we make in relationships. I hope that your relationships work out. I hope that you communicate with your partner and I hope that you tell them how cool, swagalicious, awesome, and fantastic they are. And lastly, if you enjoyed this content, then hit that subscribe button, come on. Yeah, it's time for me to close this video. So, as I always say, do you stay swagalicious and keep, whew, ooh, smiling. Peace.